So hello everybody, Convert with Moss 8.5 is out and it brings the support for two new formats. One is the Quietic TX16WX, what an easy to pronounce name. And for propeller head reason, NNXT or short the ending SXT files, which many people asked about to support this as well. And we can read as well as write these two formats. If you have never heard of Convert with Moss, it's totally free tool for converting between meanwhile lots of different multi-sample formats and so you simply pick your source format and then you pick the destination format and click on convert and that's it so reading is not too impressive all these two formats the only setting you have is that you can search for samples if both formats can have absolute paths which is always an issue so you can say how many directories you want to search upwards from the location where your source file is located and the same is for the sxt files they can also can configure this setting and the metadata setting is the same for all the different ones to guess creators or create a text and look up the manual to get an understanding how these parameters work. So it's more fun to look at these formats as a destination. So let's, for example, pick one of my own samples. Why not some choir sounds I have here in contact format. And let's say we want to create here the TX16WX files. Let's simply go on convert and then all the files are converted and if anything problematic happens you will see an error but everything worked fine let's simply do the same here with the sxt destination and by the way i edit now for all the formats who output wav files WAV files these options to write their chunks which i explained in the previous videos so you have now this option available everywhere so let's do that as well and also they convert quite fast and we are done so we can close down convert moss and let's have a look here in bitwig and if you never heard of tx 16 wx <laughs> software sampler it's a totally free plugin there is a professional version which you need to pay for but the difference are quite small and you can already do a lot of stuff with a free version and this is totally worth a look and let's have a look it looks like this so it reminds a little bit of contact but much easier to use so you have here your programs and let's have a look at what convert with moss created so the output format is this tx proc let's load one of them it simply can drag and drop it in so here it is and this works nicely it's pretty easy also now to do some stacking let's just load the second one and set it to the same midi channel and you can very quickly create some very nice and lush pad sounds and it also has options here for the usual editing so i support all the filtering filter option as well as the envelopes we can also have a look here at my funny matrix where we have where is it tx16 wx so you see it's quite complete only thing is pitch bend is the same value in both directions which is not an issue and then the okay key tracking play logic is not something we need every day so this is totally fine and quite powerful sampler. If we're just in this document, let's also have a look at propeller head format. There is a little bit more red, but also the essential stuff. Everything is working. Also, we have here support for filter and pitch mod envelopes as well as a normal amplitude envelope. So also quite powerful format. So let's have a look at that as well. So I have an age old version of Reason running here is version five. So currently I think current version is 12. Let's have a look. So what's the current version? Yeah, the 12 is the current one, but the format is still the same and works still nicely in the current version, I guess, as well. It's supported by the NNXT sampler, which is here and there we can open one of the files we created so let's go here to the desktop and there is a sxt file so let's check that out so working as well nicely in good old nnxt in reason 
But nevertheless, you can also go the other way. So if you used Reason back in the days and have created lots of SXT files, for example, you can now put that into more advanced and newer samplers as well. So much for this time and until next time, make some funky music.